what are the seven most important tips for someone moving out of state? Welcome back to Power Find Home Scoop, tips you can use series where we answer questions from buyers, sellers, and real estate investors just like you. My name is Kirsten Powell, and together with my husband Rick, we own and operate Power Find Home Scoop right here in beautiful Boise, Idaho. Both of us are broker associates with Real Broker LLC, and our mission is to make buying and selling real estate just a tad bit easier for you, and we try to remove most of the stress from the transaction. Before considering a move out of state, the first step should definitely be to research this new location that you're considering. Unless, of course, you're going for a job as part of a job relocation, this may not necessarily apply to you. But if you are looking to move while also seeking employment in this new location, you want to make sure you take the time to learn about the job market, your housing options, the cost of living, and of course, you want to make sure that the local community is where you would like to live. Before making plans, we always encourage a visit and you want to make sure that this new location is going to be workable for you. So a visit is definitely a must. Once you've decided that this new city has what you are looking for, we recommend taking time to plan and budget. Now, you're going to have moving costs, of course. You want to make sure that you make a list of all the expenses that you are going to need to cover the following costs. They could be moving costs, of course. If you're buying a home, you're going to have closing costs as part of buying the home. Of course, you're going to have your mortgage or your rent, utilities, but last and not least, food and drink. Before making the move, you want to declutter and get rid of unnecessary belongings that you know will be in excess in terms of packing and also moving. By doing so, you can save money on the moving cost and also you're going to have a fresh start in your new place. So you bought a place or perhaps you rented one. And now what? Well, you want to make sure you get your utilities and services ahead of time. So when you arrive, your place is already ready for you. That includes, of course, electricity, gas, water, internet, and a phone if you so choose to get a landline. Now, in today's world, we're finding that most people, they forego the landline because we all have cell phones. Next, you want to familiarize yourself with the laws and regulations of your new city and or state. Learn about the laws and the regulations, especially when it comes to a city or state that might be different for where you lived before. You want to make sure you know the driver license requirements and of course the taxes. Those you don't want to forget about. As soon as you move to your new home, you want to try to network with as many people as possible. You can meet new people through social media, local groups and events, and of course you can join a gym or a club to help settle you into this new community. You should know that moving to a new place, whether it's a city just right next door to where you used to live, or maybe a state further away from your current place, it can take some time to adjust. We know that moving to a new state can be overwhelming, so allow yourself some time to adjust and don't hesitate to reach out to your family and friends for support. Did you find this video helpful or do you have any moving tips that you want to share with us and our subscribers? Do drop them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel as well so when we add new videos, you'll be notified and you can follow along on what's happening in Boise and the Treasure Valley and of course get tips for real estate. Thank you so much for watching and we hope that we connect with you soon so we can be of service to you and help you with your real estate needs, whether it be buying, selling, or investing in real estate. Thank you again for watching and we will talk soon. Bye.